Hey, what's going on? Eric Cortina here. So after the Revely Peak match, I went to go pick up my trailer and uh, cause it was at a, one of my friend's place and he has a shooting bench. So I decided um, to shoot a group, five shot group. I actually ended up shooting seven shots, but you'll see what I'm talking about. Um, but anyway, I shot a five shot group and uh, I, Went ahead and shot it just to see how the gun was performing because we knew what it was doing before the match. So I want to see exactly what it was doing after the match on a dirty barrel with 180 rounds that I had already put through it because I have been reading a lot of comments that people say that, you know, the barrel erodes so many thousands per 100 rounds and blah, 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 right? The whole chasing the lance thing. So I said, well, let's see how it shoots after uh, 180 rounds. Uh, technically, I shot 200 rounds or so because I did not, uh, you know, I still shot the uh, the match day. But anyway, so about 200 rounds through that barrel and just want to see how it shot, okay? So that's what I did. However, uh, before we do that, here's some leftover ammo that I have. So here's the leftover ammo from from uh, Revely Peak, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to check concentricity on these rounds because I never do <laughs> and I never did. So let's see what the concentricity looks like. And then uh, we're gonna shoot a five shot group and then let me know what you guys expect out of this ammo. All right, so here's the ammo. I got my concentricity gauge set up. Let's see what kind of run out we have on this ammo. Okay, let me make sure this moves over here. Okay, and here we go. So we have, what do we have? I'm gonna rotate this so it's easier to read. Okay. Let's put it on the low side. Okay, zero, three, zero, three. So this one's got three thousands. Let's check the next one. This one's from one to three. So this one's got two thousands. This one. Uh, this one's got about one thousand. Uh, this one's got two. This one's got four. So, so far we've seen anywhere from two to four thousandths of run out. This one's got two, so. All right, so that, again, that's the ammo that I shot at the match, okay? So that's how much run out I have. As you guys know, I load with the uh, 750. And um, to be honest with you, <laughs> I never check run out. I, I haven't seen any difference in uh, accuracy between I've tested all the way up to 15 thousands run out 15 not one and a half 15 thousands of run out with absolutely no effects on accuracy so uh, the only time I ever use a concentricity gauge is whenever I'm setting up a new press or something just to make sure that nothing is wrong with the dies in, in a sense of uh, I mean if it's inducing drastic run out you want to do something with the dice or the setup but you know as you see i have my ammo has four thousands of run out i don't really care uh it's not gonna make a difference all right so anyway now you saw how much run out i have i know a lot of you guys obsess over run out eh, it doesn't matter as much as you think it does all right so all right let's go shoot that group now again this is dirty barrel I say dirty. I cleaned it after a hundred uh, after the first day, which we shot about 80 rounds or 90. So, right now at this point, the barrel has about maybe 60 rounds through it. Uh, I clean often. I clean about every 100 rounds or so. Uh, that's just what I do. Okay. It was not a deep cleaning, uh, but just enough to get the carbon out of there and uh, some copper. Okay. Carbon is is the killer. Okay. Anyway, enough of that. Let's go shoot a five shot group and see what it looks like. Uh, as you guys know, it was shooting half a before the match, 
What do you think now that you saw what's going on here? 4,000s of run out, dirty barrel, uh, 200 rounds since we shot the last group. Okay, we shot a half MOA group last time. Uh, we are shooting, uh, again, it's been uh, 200 rounds. So uh, I should have, I don't ever measure to the lance, but I should have just to kind of maintain some kind of, just so we could do a comparison. But anyway, I talk too much. <laughs> Let's go see what this thing looks like. By the way, in the meantime, go ahead and give this video a like, okay? It, it takes you like three seconds. All right, I'm gonna count it down. Five, four, three. While I'm counting, you're supposed to be clicking the like button. Three, two, one. All right, let's go shoot. I'm gonna shoot a group at uh, at 100 yards with that rifle with the ammo this is immediately after the match of course i'm over here picking up my trailer but uh, i'm gonna put this paper over there one single red dot and let's take a uh let's do a five shot group see what it looks like all right so there's the dot let's see what we can do Alright, so there's the group right there. We got one hanging slightly low and then the other four right there. Before I did this group, I had set up the target and I took uh, two shots and they both went in that hole right there. Actually, I don't know that. There's another, no, these were them. Yeah. Yeah, there's two shots. So anyway, before I shot this group, I shot two shots. They both went in that hole. So then that's when I decided to set up the camera. I set up the GoPro right there. And then I shot that five shot group. So uh, it looks to be shooting about the same as it did before we left. So let me go measure that group. All right, so here's the group. And this is all I have to measure with. So center to center. Right at half MOA or half inch. Okay, and that's what we had <laughs> before we went to the match. So it appears that the tune did not change at all after 180 rounds. So we don't have to do anything except we do because I never did any uh, seating depth testing on this rifle. Uh, typically, I would say that's good enough because as you guys saw, uh, it's consistent half MOA rifle, okay? And, um, but uh, anyway, we're gonna do a seating depth test to see if we can make it better because we never did a, uh, a seating depth test. All we did is uh, we picked a random seating depth of 2121 and then we adjusted with the tuner and we were done. So, uh, yeah, that's the next thing I'm gonna do some uh, seating depth test. And then I think we're gonna be done. I mean, we're pretty much done as it is. I mean, who who wouldn't be happy with that, <laughs> right? But let's see how much we can squeeze out of it. All right, so give this video a like, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. And I hope all your groups are one whole. <laughs> see ya.